Hello, my name is Tina and today I tried to fix my remote control. Actually it worked, just a few buttons is unresponsive. So look how easy it is to fix it and save some nerves. First of all I show you some trick. This is the easiest way to check if your remote works or not. Most of remote controllers work on infrared light, which can be seen by human eye. And look also my Sony A6500 can see it. So take my phone and open the camera. Point the remote to the camera and push the buttons. Here you must see the infrared light come out of infrared LED. You can clearly see here that signal comes from remote. Also GoPro can see this signal with or without ultraviolet filter. I don't know why Sony wants to see them. Ok, let's disassemble the remote controller now. Remove the battery and unscrew the screws. Depend on type of remote. Mine has only one screw. Some of remote don't even got them. Then with screwdriver carefully speed the clips which hold the housing together. Right after I open the housing I can clearly see the problem. There is a lot of dirt on bottom pads which must have a good contact. But how if they are so dirty? I could say that one of the children has pouring some drink over the remote. Then I remove all the buttons and clean them from the top side. With the toothbrush clean also the entire housing. When I got rough cleaned all the parts with toothbrush, I take piece of towel, sink into alcohol and clean everything with it. Alcohol is not too aggressive, so you can clean all the buttons with it and you're not gonna lose signs on buttons. When everything is cleaned with alcohol, blow it with compressed air so all remaining alcohol evaporates. And we got nice clean surface. Now I got clean housing and buttons, so I can start cleaning circuit and button pads. Also that clean with alcohol, first with piece of towel for rough cleaning. Now take cleaning air buds and sink it into alcohol, then carefully clean all the batten pads, or just non working one, I clean all of them. Also they repeat step with compressed air. You can see how alcohol evaporate when we blow it. Now we got really nice clean surface on bottom pads and circuit. You remember that, right? So we can assemble the remote now and it probably work, but I will do one more step before assembling. I take another cleaning air buds and apply a bit of contact liquid on it. Then apply really thin layer on bottom pads. That contact solution is really great, it's big help to a good contact. It's also usable for some connectors or whenever we need a good electrical contact. When all the buttons is greased I can assemble the remote controller together. Install screw, insert batteries and we are ready for a test. It worked like charm now. Even that few common buttons like channel selection and power button. It's just about 5 to 10 minutes of work, but it's priceless when the remote works instantly when you push on it. That's it. I'm going watching TV now with my almost new remote control. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.